you know, I learned everything off, everything I know I've learned off, off Dad. Um, I'm pretty sure he didn't teach me everything he knew. I'm pretty sure about that, um, particularly when it comes to his horsemanship and his, his skill with identifying young horses and getting them ready and, and, and working on what made a young horse tick and getting them up to the mark. He's a far better trainer than I am at, at the two-year-olds. I haven't trained a two-year-old winner this season, so he'd be probably kicking my bum at the moment. But I learned a lot, particularly the horsemanship side of things. Um, yeah, he's a terrific horseman. My father grew up basically on horseback in, um, you know, on, on, on the Western Downs at, at a Bring a Lily near Mulmarin, so and a dairy farm there. So he was on horseback his whole life. I, I learned a lot about the animal through my father. Um, also, my, my father's also involved in pubs with people and a lot about how to treat people and, and, and look after people, particularly staff that are, that are loyal to you and things like that. Dad always, his staff always loved him. He was always a, you know, he was always a, a father figure, I guess, to a lot of people. Um, who worked for him at different, at varying times. So, you know, he taught me how to treat people well in that regard, people who work for you, but with the horses, particularly just the animal. He was a, he was a very good man, very kind man with a horse. Uh, I learned so much. The Gollum name is synonymous with racing on the Darling Downs, an owner, a trainer, and a breeder. The one I always loved is Novijinsky, one of that very, very fast brigade that uh, Darrell trained. I started my media career in Toowoomba with Win TV and the Darling Downs and the great training ranks at Clifford Park in Toowoomba and Daryl Gollum was just one of those alongside some other legends as well. And what a legacy uh, Daryl's left and the, the great strides that Tony's now making carrying the name forward. It's a real feather and uh, the great man has certainly left a legacy for Queensland. He was just a superstar, um, great bloke, genuine, decent, he'd do anything for you if you asked. Um, he was the toughest man I knew. He was very sick and he'd turn up every day without fail. Um, also remember the love he had for the animals and the horses. He's a very good horseman, Dal, you know, he knew what he was doing and yeah, he was very, very good at, uh, that was one thing he was very good at, you know. He was sort of ahead of his time with a lot of the syndication stuff that's very common now. Um, when I first got involved racing, you know, there was a lot of single ownership, but Daryl got the former business community. Um, very much involved in the syndication, you know, and that obviously transferred to, to him going into two-year-old races and, and winning winning the, what was then the Fitton Classic every year, where Darrell won it a lot of times. I think that, you know, what we probably take for granted today as being being the way horses are, are sold or syndicated. Darrell certainly was very, very um, prominent in, in getting that rolling in Toowoomba. It certainly got a lot of people involved in racing that are still involved in racing. From owning pubs and running pubs in town here to to um, training horses and that goes back a long way but you yeah, know Daryl's always probably a lot of people will remember him for as his two-year-old as how he could get fine two-year-olds to win the fit and you know like I don't think he'll ever be broken that record of how many two-year-old races it's the first season two-year-old race of the of the year in Australia and he always had that knack of finding the right horse to, to win that race. Um, what he did the two-year-olds is very well known for that but overall as a trainer he's I think Delrello way back he went very well with. Um, you can just see what Tony learnt off him, how good Tony's going. Um, he's a superstar trainer now and I think um, there's not any person here or Brisbane or anywhere in Queensland or Australia that not many wouldn't have not heard of him. You know, he's yeah, very well known and left a really good legacy. Daryl had a lot of forward thinking ideas that are, that are probably in place now. He always spoke to me a lot about um, you know, making some of the country meetings tab, you know, so obviously get a return out of it and obviously a little bit better for the owners, you know, and, and, and that sort of stuff and a, you know, a Monday circuit where some of these are, are tab meetings and that certainly is, is very common in, in Queensland racing now. So he's definitely a very forward thinker, Daryl. Part of my life, a lot of people's lives, Toowoomba in general, but he was a superstar person, a great bloke, great trainer, great supporter of mine. I uh, had so much belief in my ability and yeah, um, played a huge role in a lot of my career. He was certainly very, very ahead of his time and like I said, it's not something, you know, you look back now and a lot of, a lot of Daryl's ideas are, you know, what, what we take for, for being normal in racing there, but it certainly wasn't then. Also, he's supportive of female jockeys. Obviously, female jockeys are very common in our place today, but when, when Daryl's supporting it, it, they probably weren't, you know. You know, he, he, he worked very hard to get a lot of owners' acceptance of that, of, of having female jockeys and supported, you know, um, Christy Banks and, and Sky Bogan to the end with that and, and certainly was a massive part of their careers. Uh, the club is absolutely thrilled to play host to this very special event. Um, 
the untimely passing of Daryl at the height of COVID meant that the family hasn't really been able to, to do anything to, to mark his life. So to be able to do it here at Clifford Park where uh, Daryl has left such an incredible legacy is, is a no-brainer for us, you know, we're, we're thrilled to be a part of it. Racing Queensland have given us every indication that they want to help the uh, Toowoomba Turf Club build this event into something really special annually. Part of the best thing, I think, in recent years with Daryl was just watching his quiet, his quiet, um, taking pleasure in Tony's achievements, but in a real humble and quiet way. I mean, Daryl was just not a big noter. You know, he was a people person and he was a horseman. Um, but every time Tony, you know, won a premiership or won a big race or won a group one, you could just see it oozing from him, just how proud he was. Yeah, a real, a real family man. And Tony is his legacy, there's no doubt about that. And I don't think Tony could have done uh, him more proud and his mum, Paulette, as well. Um, he couldn't have done his family more proud, probably, than what he's done. I think my father got the best out of me, so, you know, I, as far as my, my career and my training goes, I, I owe everything to him. I, I couldn't be here with all this, you know, beautiful setup I have now and all these horses if it wasn't for the role he played in my life and for always keeping me honest about, about where you're at and what you're doing. So, you know, he was an exceptionally hard worker, yeah. um, very frank with the conversation to, to me, particularly, you know, being his son was so close. So. You know, I hope he's, um, hope he's looking down for me and proud of me. As I said, I'm sure he's kicking my bum with the two-year-olds at the moment, but I'm sure there's other areas that he's awfully, awfully proud about. But the most important thing uh, for me is you never stop, never stop working. Keep your head down, your bum up, um, dot your eyes, cross your T's and, and keep, um, keep at it. That's one thing my dad did. He was a very, very good worker. And the harder you work, the luckier you get. He always used to tell me. And so hopefully I can continue to have luck if I keep working hard.